something sneaky is ravaging Little Miss Squash Blossom's early tomatoes. A pesky hornworm hides under the leaves during the day and devours the plants in the dark of the night. Squash Blossom won't have it. She loves tomatoes and it pains her to see them destroyed. But there was something even more evil causing problems for Little Miss Squash Blossom. The day before, a mean-spirited little girl wandered into Squash Blossom's garden. She was transformed into a hornworm fairy, a selfish, jealous, and inconsiderate version of the hornworm. The hornworm fairy set out to prevent Little Miss Squash Blossom from growing her own food. That night, Little Miss Squash Blossom consulted with her pet Tingleberry to devise a plan for getting rid of the mysterious, destructive creature. As she started to drift off, she couldn't help but feel uneasy. So Little Miss Squash Blossom disguised herself for a stakeout and sat in the woods to catch the pest in the act. Tingleberry brought along fresh zucchini strips for snacking. Little did they know the hornworm fairy was watching them. Finally, they came face to face, and it was clear that the hornworm fairy was a bully. Little Miss Squash Blossom could not reason with her, and the hornworm fairy made her feel bad. Suddenly, the sky was filled with wasps, the kind that preys on hornworms. They laid their eggs on the naughty fairy, and she turned back into a little girl, running away from the garden as fast as a hummingbird flies. Little Miss Squash Blossom learned that there will always be creatures trying to ruin her day. She vowed to bring more butterflies, bees, and birds into her life to lure the pests away and to give her the courage to live among creatures that she may never be able to understand or change. Running in the sand, living on the land. Was in our eyes. We stood beneath the dragonflies and danced. Oh. 